Okay, so uh, with the return of serve, you've got two options on how you want to re return it. You're either going to start with an Andy Murray pose, where you've got one foot in front of the other, ready to look like you're going to run forwards. And from this position, we're going to just step forwards and split as our opponent connects with that serve. Okay, so one foot in front of the other, step forwards and split. As you step forwards, you're timing their take back on the serve. So you could do a slow step or you could speed it up so you can split at the right time. Your other option is the Novak Djokovic return, where you're going to be both feet in line. And then as your opponent goes to serve, you just hop forwards. Or as I like to do, a, maybe a double hop, so I go one, and then you can take your stroke. Okay, so that's the footwork with the return of serve. Oh, uh, you're gonna try both and then see which one you prefer. All right, I'll be serving down at you. So, when we return serve, we are gonna put our foot on the inside tram line at the baseline. And then you can adjust forwards and back depending on how fast that serve's coming in. So if you're getting just a weak server, you might be halfway from the baseline to the service line. If you're against my serve, you're going to be just behind the baseline. Okay, so the purpose of the split step when you're returning the serve is to get your body weight down into the ground and also to give you a nice wide base that you can push off left and right. Okay, so when we, when we land into that split, we want to be nice and low, wide base, and then we can push off. You've got a split step down, which is great, but it's about here at the moment. If we can get that to here, you're gonna be much more effective. You think that that ball off the serve is coming in at about this height. So if we can get down to that height with the ball, it's gonna be much easier just to block it back and use our feet into it. So wider, lower position. The return of serve isn't like a regular ground stroke. It's more like a volley. So instead of taking the racket back, we're just going to take it straight to contact and then do our follow through. You're not going to get a lot of spin doing that, you know, back spin or top spin. We're just looking for a little top spin, but it's more going to be a block back. Okay, in addition to that, um, you've got to look at your grip as well. Make sure you're in that neutral grip, ready for the backhand, and then turn that forehand grip. Okay, final thing is your footwork. We need to be moving forwards as we connect with the shot because we haven't got any take back on our shot. We're relying on our step forwards to generate some of that power back. Okay, so off your split step, it's gonna be a crossover step and stamp on the ball, just like you would with a volley.